Hey guys, so I haven't vlogged all weekend, so it's what, Saturday today? So we are off to the beach. We had the rehearsal dinner last night, which was Friday, and it was super hot there, but Olive did pretty good. Well, she did kind of good. She was scared of the ring bear, but that's okay. So Daniel and I are walking to the beach right now. It'll be Olive's first time at the beach. We are super excited, and it's beautiful here in Cayucas. Can't wait to share with you guys all the beautiful beaches. Go for the ride? I think she just wants to go for a ride. Alright, then we'll just take her down to the pier and back. water is because the water here in Cayucas is ice cold. It is not warm or like warm enough for me comfortably to get in the ocean. So that's why Olive is not in the water. <laughs> it is ice cold. But it's still beautiful out here. and then all done. Here's Ollie. Oh, it's such a beautiful day here in Cayucas, guys. Hey, Schooners, that restaurant over there has the best food ever. It is delicious. If you guys are ever in Cayucas, go eat at Schooners. They have great Bloody Marys. Look at that fancy car, pretty cool. But if you want fast food, something really quick and easy, Skippers is the next best choice. There's also a tavern here, which we'll be passing soon, where everybody gets pretty drunk at night. But there are a ton of antiques here, so if you guys are into antiques, come, come get some antiques over here. All right, guys, if you are ever in town, 
Come get the brown butter cookies. They are the best cookies ever. You have to come and get them. It is delicious. Mm -mm. Cookies, cookies, cookies. Monday. We came back yesterday around 5 o'clock in the afternoon or evening as I guess you could say. Um, the whole trip was amazing. The wedding was great. Um, sorry. I thought the lighting would be better if I faced it that way. I'm trying to get Olive. Say hi Ollie. So it was a great trip. It was a great trip to the beach. I wish, you know, Daniel and I had more time at the beach, but we had to leave and blah, blah, blah. But Thursday night when we got there, we got there around 1030. We left here at around 7, 715, and we just drove straight there. Olive didn't fall asleep until like an hour before we got into the beach. And we tried, you know, doing our normal routine we would do here at the house at the beach and she was not having it Thursday night. She hated it. So Daniel and I decided to have her sleep in our bed, you know, co-sleep for just one night. And that was like the worst decision ever. I hated sharing a bed with Daniel and Olive because it was just so hard. Like if I had the doc tot, like the, um, the toddler version doc tot, I think it might've been easier, but I only have the baby doc tot and so, that was a bummer. Oh well. Um, she didn't fall asleep until like 1 a.m. And she does this thing in her crib where she actually gets up and like slams her head on the mattress and that's how she goes to sleep. That's just what my daughter does. And so that's what she was doing in our bed. She kept putting, um, getting up and smashing her head on the bed. But because Daniel and I were there, she was smashing her head on us. And so she smashed her head on my lip and actually cut my lip open. There's two cuts right here. This one is like pretty swollen. This part of my lip is also swollen. I woke up with like blood and everything. It was really bad. And she t seemed to cater to my side a lot more. She literally pushed me off the, like, the bed pretty much. And so I didn't get a lot of sleep. I know Daniel didn't get a lot of sleep, but he had his whole side of the bed. So that was nice. But she slept in until nine o'clock Friday morning. And she's usually up by seven, so I'm like, well, she didn't go to bed until technically one, one thirty, so whatever. And I didn't get any sleep at all, so. Ugh. But uh, the next day, Friday, um, Olive was able to sleep in the pack and play because she was, you know, a lot more familiar with the smells and the like sounds and just everything. So it was a lot better for her that day. So for the rest of the weekend, she slept in the pack and play, which was really nice. And that made the weekend a lot better. But Olive looked amazing in her flower girl dress, as you guys saw in the videos. Um, I don't think I'll split this, these videos up. I think I'm gonna combine them in one video. Um, I tried to film as much as I can. I didn't get as much footage as I thought I was gonna get, but it was just really, really busy this weekend. We had to be at certain places at certain times and it was just pretty crazy. But yeah, Olive is having pizza because that's what we got last night for dinner because we obviously were not gonna cook. The house is still here, so the person we had watching our house took you know, good care of our house, so we really appreciate that. Olive, what are you looking at? <laughs> but yeah, so that was pretty much our weekend. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. We had so much fun at the beach. You know, we just wish we had more time there, but maybe another time. But I have... <laughs> anyway, 
so that was our weekend. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Um, I do have a lot of great videos lined up and I can't wait to post them because it's getting pretty exciting and summer's here, so I'm pretty excited about that. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye. Say bye-bye, Olive. <laughs>